All right. Hi, guys. <clears throat> Happy Skincare Sunday, everyone. I'm going to wait till everybody gets on. Turn my phone off. How are you guys doing? Happy Sunday, you guys. Allergies are so bad today. I got all of my goodies here to talk about today. I'll wait till we have everybody on. All right. Hi, guys. How are we doing? <clears throat> hey, Steph. Hey, Summer, Vicky, Claudia. <clears throat> Excuse me, geez. Heidi, Lori, Ilya, Janet, Holly, Laura, Laura, Lori, Kim. Yay. What is it? Heidi says, just made a huge Sunday lunch, ready to chill with my favorite topic. <laughs> I love it. Thanks. What are you making, Heidi? Janet says, woohoo, skincare Sunday. Let's do this. Yay, Claudia. She says, yay, I'm here. Fantastic. Hi, Diana. Hey, Cecilia. All right, Vicki wanted to say thank you for the tutorial for those who wear glasses. It helps me out so much. You're so welcome, Vicki. No problem. It was uh, in the in long time in the works for some reason. All right. Hey, Lori. Hey, Cheryl. Claudia, I have some anxiety because I think I need to go back to my C firma and I bought the Ole Hendrickson one. I don't think it's as good. Which one do you like? Oh, Claudia. Hey, Marie. Claudia, you will, your answer will be, uh, or your question will be answered today. All right. Hey, Alicia. Hey, Kathy. All right. Perfect. We're getting some people on here. Thanks, Lori. My first time to a live as well. Yay. Perfect. Is it Laura? All right. I've had some same thing, Claudia. I went back to see Firma. Learning so much from you. What are your what are your makeup brushes ready? When are your makeup brushes ready to buy? Anxiously waiting. All right, great. So we're gonna do some housekeeping while we get some few more people on here. First thing I want to chat with you guys about is my um brush rolls are in the works. They are being uh, created as we speak. I am working on my website to figure out how to sell them, how to get shipping, you know, all taken care of. And I'm trying to also figure out how to be able to ship them internationally. So fingers crossed that that all works out. Thank you guys so much for all your support on this. It's really been an amazing journey. And it's honestly all thanks to you guys because you guys were the ones that were like yeah do it and it just makes me feel so good so thank you guys for giving me the strength to move forward and do that so um keep uh, following me on instagram because that's where all the updates will be um and then whenever it goes live also too if you want to follow i'll put this in here hardware beauty uh on Instagram and or you can go to hardwarebeauty.com give me your email address I'll make sure that you have all of the information but Hardware Beauty is my brand and that is where you'll find all of those goody updates okay close all right perfect I need some good options for moisturizers for dry skin and good cleansers that are gluten-free and non-drying so Kathy if you want to go to L Leary dot com backslash blog I'll put that here uh, 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 dot com blog that website's getting a facelift too soon um, so Kathy if you go to there I have a bunch of posts I did recently about all of my favorite everything's um, and so those are some great options there for all different skin types so if you want to check that out I know you guys really enjoyed that series so I'm so thankful to you guys 
All right. Welcome, Kathleen. Welcome, Sharon. Andrea. Uh, who else? Sue. I love you too, Sue. All right. So the last housekeeping thing is if you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are so bad today. <clears throat> so if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys will notice, um, thanks, Gabby. You guys will notice that I talked about a a uh, new thing that Sephora is putting up on their website, which is has a green leaf that says like green at Sephora. And um, that's going to be a great place for you guys to start if you want cleaner products. But I did notice that there are still products on there that have silicone in them as well as a few of the alcohols that we've talked about in the past. So it'll be a great place to start there and start looking at ingredients. But what I found really interesting is that Youth to the People was did not have a green symbol on it, which I find very interesting and I think maybe either they hadn't done it yet like they hadn't gotten to it but it should have a green symbol on it um, so yeah so that's something if you guys are starting to look for you know more healthy ingredients in skincare Sephora is stepping up it's one of the first in the industry in the United States to really move that movement forward so I'm actually really proud of Sephora for that all right okay so today's topic will get moving let's see here so what I Peggy says, I am going to be having major back surgery and I wonder if there's in there's someone I can use to wash my face with some type of wipes. Uh, Peggy, yeah, you need to be using a micellular water. Um, the My favorite one is by It Cosmetics. They make a micellular water. And I'm thinking good thoughts for you, Peggy. Um, one of our other beautiful subscribers, Steph, just recently had, I believe, back surgery as well. So we're going to send you all the love and light, Peggy, for a quick and full recovery. And if you guys do know Steph, she is doing well. She is recovering slowly but surely. So keep sending her some positive love and light. Um, all right. Is there such thing as vegetarian squalene? Yes, absolutely. Um, on my squalene video, I talk all about a uh, ve vegetarian version, and that's the only one that I recommend, and it's by Biosense. And then I'm also going to be talking about another pure squalene oil um, in a few weeks when I talk about my affordable green skincare recommendations, okay? So that'll be up in a few weeks. All right, so today we're going to be talking about, um, yes, Kathleen, I have tried local honey for my allergies, and it did help a lot. It's just I'm so bad at being consistent with it, which I know you have to be. So, um, yes. Okay, so let's move on to today's topic. I love it, L Squad. I love you guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about, I haven't done like an updates video where I talk about some of the products that I've talked about for many, many months and to see if I am still using them because a lot of people will ask like, oh, I know you've done a video on this, but are you still using X? And um, so I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm still using. All of the products I'm talking about are already in the description box. I was super prepared today. <laughs> so um, let's start. So uh, let's start with, let me just pull a few of these out. Um, there's one product I do want to talk about. This is the Simple Micellular Water. Um, I am actually uh, almost done with this, but I am at, I am no, uh, I'm not, oh my gosh, you guys are going to hear my cat. My cat is so um, loud right now. Um, but I am not using this anymore because the one, two, three, four, five, Sixth ingredient is panethyl, which is an alcohol that is super drying to the skin. So I'm going to go back to the It Cosmetics Micellular Water. I know it's super pricey, but um, it has much better ingredients. So I'm bummed about this. But, you know, I really get educated. As much as I educate you guys, I educate myself to really go back and look at my ingredients. So that's just something I wanted to update you guys on that, okay? Um, all right. So then let's go through a couple of these. I have still been using, I don't think it goes without any question, I'm still using the Tatcha Essence. Uh, I, I do like the new one from Fresh. It's just really thick to me. So um, I use layers of hydration. So that one is a little bit thicker, but I have been using it still. Okay, so as far as serums, I'm going to tell you guys, there are these, this serum right here by Alginist. It is so, so good. It is the, um, what is this called? The Genius Liquid Collagen. I am so upset that it is $115, but I did buy a second bottle of it. And I could, I mean, it was literally so hard for me to part with that money because that's just a lot for a serum. So I do know that 
it's not in everybody's price range, but it does last me about five months and I've found nothing to dupe this out for. I mean, if you guys have a dupe for this, it, it, please let me know, but it is a much cleaner than most I've found and it really works. So I am still using this. This is one I have talked about many, many, many months ago. So today's theme is all about products I'm still using after I've tested them for like six, seven months. I mean, these are products I've used and really tested them out. So really good really good. Ugh, just don't like the price tag. Um, and I do want to talk about this drunk elephant vitamin C, I'm sorry, C firma day serum. Honestly. Um, so I go back and forth using this and the may love serum. Um, I have used the Ole Hendrickson one and I didn't love it. Um, I would recommend using this. If you're going to use one, this one or the may love serum is fantastic. I actually have, um, my may love in here too. So I wanted to share with you guys that I am still using these products. Um, I definitely get, I interchange them. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I interchange them, but I just do. This has hyaluronic acid in it, but this does not. So I, but I do love these and I absolutely will be repurchasing this just because I think it's so effective. Um, the price point is a little steep. This one is a much better price point, but they're both fantastic products. These are like my favorite current vitamin C products right now. Um, yeah, Nancy, it did. Isn't that crazy? Um, Nancy, I have no other option for you, unfortunately. I wish. Miss Classy Latina, I love you with all your hearts. Um, so then, and we are going to be talking about soon, I think it's either next week or the following, I'm going to be doing a skincare Sunday live because I know it'll be really active, all about the difference between like Sephora, Ulta skincare, drugstore skincare compared to clinical strength skincare, okay? So um, those questions will be answered when we get to that because it's a really, really important subject. But this is definitely a clinical strength. You only need a little bit. In my opinion, you spend more money on stuff sometimes to have it be more effective because you need less. Okay. Um, Marie asks, do you see a difference in the two? Marie, are you talking about the two vitamin C's? Um, I absolutely do. I see a difference, but I feel, I don't know how I say this. Um, I just feel like this sometimes is a little bit lighter. So like more, it's lighter on the skin because this does have hyaluronic acid in it. But I definitely saw more of a difference when I started using the May Love Serum, but it's really, honestly, they're interchangeable. Okay. Do you have a video on how to use the May Love Serum? Uh, yes, I do. Um, but my beautiful friends at May Love will be sponsoring a video coming up soon, the affordable, uh, effective green skincare. They're actually collaborating with me on that, giving away a huge giveaway. And we're going to talk about how to use May Love's products kind of incorporated. So hang tight, Jeanette. Um, or hang tight, Claudia. All right. Uh, all right. So um, then for eye cream, I'm still using all the eye creams that I did my blog post on and video on, but I wanted to let you know that I've used this now. This is my fourth jar. I've used this probably over a year and I use this on all my clients. This is well worth the money. It does have silicone in it, but it's pretty clean. All right. So FYI. Um, I'm still using the spinach and green tea for, uh, moisturizer from You to the People. It is beautiful, lightweight. I love this moisturizer. Fantastic. No silicone in that moisturizer. Um, and then I am still using, I haven't talked about this a lot, but I'm still using the Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Firming and Soothing Serum. This is chock full of hyaluronic acid and a few other amazing ingredients. And this is for dry days when I feel really dry. I use it in the morning, uh, right before my moisturizer. And it really gives a plumping effect to the skin. This is my third bottle of this, okay? And then uh, my beautiful friends at uh, Kakai Naturals. Now, I wanted to give you guys an update because I think a lot of you guys ask about this. This is a brand new bottle that they just sent me. Um, my beautiful friends at Kakai Naturals actually collaborated with me on this video. And um, because I told them, I was like, I'm loving your oil. I just wanted to let you know. So a lot of people ask if I am still using Kaka oil. I am using it religiously every night. I use it from here to here and in my opinion this is by far the best um, neck 
oil. So it's really smoothed out these lines in my neck. It's also, if you guys haven't seen my video on cacao oil, check it out. But it's better than argon oil. Um, it has more retinol than rose hip oil in it. Um, it is definitely safe to use for sensitive skin, acneic skin, because it's non-comedogenic. It has a ton of vitamin E in it. It's very lightweight, and um, it is fantastic to use with retinol if you don't have super sensitive skin. But a lot of you guys have asked about, can you use this with retinol? And there are some amazing benefits to use this if you are using a Retin-A or a retinol serum. You can still use this oil. All right, so fantastic. They've also actually given me a non-affiliate code in the description box of this video for 40% off um, their Amazon link, which I have all linked below, but it's 40% off if you want to grab yourself an extra bottle or you haven't tried it before, but they ship internationally. Um, some of my winners actually were in South Africa and they shipped there. So international shipping, fantastic product. I love this product. Okay, let me just make sure we don't have any other ingredients so far. Um, just told my daughter about caca oil for her belly. Yes, absolutely. It's great for the body, for sure. Um, do you use serums all over the face or just in spots? All over the face, Barbara. Uh, Steph says, caca oil, holy grail. Absolutely. Um, Cheryl, the, all the products are in the description box, but it's It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. All right. Sounds like I need to switch to that oil instead of rosehip. Absolutely. It's going to be more effective for sure, Kathleen. All right. And Marie even says it's amazing. Um, I've seen such a difference with this oil. I love that. Love it. All these kind of testimonials for cacao oil. And it's super clean. It's a very clean uh, oil. And Lori says, I have to finish up one of my face oils before I buy the cacao oil. No problem, Lori. Absolutely. I'm much more of a minimalistic, like use up what you have and then buy what you want. But again, that 40% off is in the description box and it is non-affiliate, which means that I do not get anything from that. Okay. So I just want to put that out there. Isn't that awesome, Troy? Uh, Troy's like, amazing. 40% off. Yay. Um, okay. So it says, uh, um, uh, Adeline says, oh my gosh, definitely going to order that one. Uh, that once the link is available, it is available as we speak, just an FYI. Okay. The, I, all the information is already in the description box. So if you guys have more questions about cacao oil, let me know and I will answer them at the end of this. Um, Steph says it will be like $20 or less with that code. Woohoo. Awesome. Steph's like my guru with that. All right. So then moving on to my last three products that I am using still, I am absolutely loving that beauty by design. Um, it's treat number 514. It's the firming eye serum. It is so good. I love this serum. It has CoQ10 in it. It has, um, hyaluronic acid. It is, has vitamin C. It's so, so good. So I use this before my eye cream. Um, again, disc, the, the links are in the description box, but I love this. It's really lightweight. I use it all around my eye huge difference I feel. So this is like a rock star product to me from their line. I love this product. If you guys don't know what Beauty by Design is, I did a whole Skincare Sunday Live about three weeks ago. Take a quick look um, under that playlist, okay? All right. And then I absolutely just wanted to give you an update. I know whenever I talked about the Color Science Sun Forgettable, this is how I touch up my sunscreen. Again, I've done a video on this. I have used this product for probably two and a half, three and a half, maybe three years now. Um, I'm still using it. It lives in my purse. This is the little baby size. I just wanted to show you guys it lives in my purse. I love this product. It's a cleaner, uh, it's a cleaner version of uh, kind of other touch-up skincare or, or sunscreens, okay? Really, it's 100% free chemical SPF, all right? So it's much cleaner. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> it just like cut off. No. Okay. It's back on. Jeez. That's annoying. Can you guys still hear me? Yes. Ooh. Looks like my internet just dropped. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm walking through my house. 
what is going on. Oh no. Ugh. Okay, let me see here. Okay, hold on. Okay, you get to see my messy bed now? Oh Lord. Okay, don't judge me. Please don't judge me. It's Sunday. Okay, are we okay now? Are we okay now? Let Fill me in here. Okay, fill me in. Are we good? Gosh. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Come on. Okay, so let's just make sure that I'm still doing this. Okay. Okay, all right. Holy smokes, that was annoying. I hate when that happens. Okay, so we're good. We're back up and ready to go. Okay, so I'm sorry we lost some people there. I apologize. Um, I don't know what's going on with my internet, I swear. But um, don't judge me. Okay, last product I wanted to talk to you guys about was the... Um, <laughs> no judgment on the bed. I have a bucket and a mop sitting in the kitchen. Stopped for skincare Sunday. You guys are so cute, Janet. Okay. Just hang tight. Here we go. All good here. Okay. We can see and hear you. Um, all right. Okay. Just give me one more. Just give me a couple thumbs up. Give me a couple thumbs up to let me know that I'm back. Just let, give me a couple thumbs up here. Okay. Give me a couple thumbs up. Give me a couple thumbs up. Just let me know. Okay, perfect. Oh, thank gosh. Okay, good, 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 good. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Heidi. My stream health is now good. Okay, I'm so sorry. That is so annoying. Okay, all right. So I'm just going to let other people, we totally lost people. I'm so sorry, you guys. It looks like I'm just going to have to like do this in my bedroom now. I was trying to make this look a little bit more professional, but you know what? It's real life. Okay. So my last product, thank you. I'm just let everybody get back in here. Sorry. I'm going to give you guys a second. We're okay. My stream health looks like it's perfect now. Okay. Okay. So it looks like we're good. Oh my gosh, it's going on and off. Okay, so it looks like we're not going to have a ton of time today to do this. Um, I, the last product I'm still using is the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. I think it's amazing. has no silicone in it, and I absolutely love it. 100% agree with this. This is fantastic for all skin types. Oh my gosh. Tell me that we're okay now. Okay. I hope that this is better. I have... I have switched to another um, Wi-Fi network. Okay. Just going to give it a second here. I'm not going to push this. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you, Dee. Thank you, Karen, Marie, Barbara, Denise. Okay. Fantastic. I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, I don't know what is going on today. Perfect. Okay. All right. I am, looks like I'm good to go. 
So the last product, thank you, Marie. The last product that I am still using is the Ren Perfect Canvas. Um, this is a fantastic primer. It goes on right before your foundation. Just give it uh, one or two minutes to sink in. And this is amazing. It has no silicone in it. So if you're looking for a primer that does absorb oil, gives a little bit of stick to the skin. So for foundation, this also has no silicone in it. Very, very clean product. I'm obsessed with this product, okay? So this is the last product that I have still been using religiously, all right? Perfect. So I'm glad I got through that. I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. I'm just going to have to do it from my bedroom from now on, so that is a lesson learned, right? As Who else watches Peter Mon in this I, he always says remain teachable and that's a teachable moment for me. <laughs> so just so you guys know, I'm getting a lot of questions in the chat. You always put sunscreen on after your moisturizer if your moisturizer does not have it in it. All right. So moisturizer, SPF, and then whatever cosmetics you use, primer, foundation. Um, all the links of all these products will be in the description box, as well as the 40% off of the caca oil um, will also be in the description box. All right. So let's see here. And um, May Love actually has a discount code in this description box. They're, they're not collaborating with me. So um, it looks like my stream health is not doing great. So I'm just going to add let do a last few questions and then I'm going to jump off because this is kind of annoying for everyone. Um, what else? I can only get sound now. So would you be very descriptive? No problem. What primer would you suggest for the desert? I would absolutely suggest the Ren Perfect Canvas. Uh, just make sure I uh, put any more questions here. Okay. All right. Sunscreen application before moisturizer. Yep. Okay, any other questions? So Angela um, said she just received Dr. Paracone Skin Care for Mother's Day. Um, I do know a lot about Dr. Paracone. Dr. Paracone's uh, formulators actually went over to Beauty by Design. Some of them did. Dr. Paracone, I do like some of their products. I love their cold plasma for the neck. I think it's fantastic. I don't love some of their other serums. I feel like they're very, very aggressive and have quite a bit of alcohol in them. So just take a, you know, just take a, a look at those ingredients okay all right perfect can ren be used with any foundation yes it's non-silicone based is there a product i can use to smooth skin instead of foundation smooth um kim it's all about sunscreen okay sun i mean uh 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 acids. It's all about removing texture from the skin um, through skincare and then also using a pore filling primer, which I have a whole um, pore filling primer uh, video that I did. Um, it's under the Tatcha Primer Review. I need a good retinol eye cream. The uh, Dr. Dennis Gross eye serum that has retinol and ferulic acid in it is amazing. Okay, perfect. Um, of course, May Love is discounted. I just ordered it. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. And they are working on international shipping. I talked to the owner a couple days ago. Okay. They're really, really working hard on that. Uh, retinol eye cream recommendations. Yep. So that Dr. Dennis Gross, it's an eye serum. I recommend that. Okay. Bye, Nancy. Have a great day. Um, Marie, you're the best ever. Perfect. Um, all right, great. So let's see, why do I get pilling sometimes when I apply this, the same foundation? It could be the ingredients. Uh, a lot of silicone-based foundations don't work well with other products, but it usually also means that you're not waiting long enough in between your layers. But since the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer has no silicone in it, but it has agave nectar in it, I've never had pilling with that and any other foundation. Do you like the Olay Retinol Eye Cream? Um, yes, it just has to be careful of the alcohols in that, but I do. Would you use cacao oil around the eye area when it's very dry and sensitive? That's a great question, Christina. Absolutely, I use uh, the cacao oil all around my eye, not next to the lash line, but around the orbital bone. Great question. Um, all right, I use uh, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye and then for concealer, the Lancome. Okay, perfect. Uh, Kate Somerville makes an awesome retinol eye cream. Yes, she does. She actually makes a really amazing retinol serum too. Um, 
Thanks, Wendy. She, Wendy says, when you, I love when you do updated skincare routines. And I'm going to be doing a whole, I have so many ideas for Skincare Sunday. I'm going to be doing a whole update on how I adjust my skincare for summer as well. Uh, Ren Perfect Canvas is good. It's actually best for oily skin, but you know me, I'm normal to dry and it ha I have no problem with it because I build layers of hydration first. So um, the, the primer actually absorbs oil. The Beauty by Design eye cream is great too. That's exactly right, Marie. Okay, D, what about eyelid? Um, I'm not quite sure your question, um, but I do have a video all about my tried and true eye care products, and I do talk about a product by a company called uh, Corez. It's a black pine eye serum, and that is fantastic for eyelids, but it's in that video as well. Um, what is the best oil for the face? MV, I, in my opinion, I don't know what oil you're looking for, but cacao oil is my go-to. I use a sponge to absorb the excess to prevent cakiness. Okay, cool. Let's see here. Do you recommend, what do you recommend for extremely dry lips? I actually am going to be doing a whole uh, skincare Sunday on that, but I recommend exfoliation every single day with either some olive oil and some sugar or getting a lip scrub. I um, recommend lip masks and then a great hydrating lip balm. I love the one from Bite because it's 100% food grade cosmetics. But exfoliation is going to be really amazing for that. Beth says, can sunscreen go on the eyelids? No, Beth, um, but the Color Science 2-in-1 product that I talk about a lot has SPF 35. It's a color corrector, and that can be used all around the eye, even on the eyelid. Can you use cacao oil with retinol? Yes, you can. Um, it is totally fine. There's actually some great, great benefits of using cacao oil with retinol. But if you have like psoriasis or eczema or super sensitive skin, I would just make sure you start that gradually. All right. Okay. Um... Yeah, you know what? Um, a lot of people are asking about uh, pilling, and I maybe I'll do a whole video on that. All right. Kathleen says, thanks so much, Elle. So appreciate you taking the time to share with us. You got it. This is like my favorite part of the weekend. I love it. So uh, so can Carez, uh Yeah, so Carez for the eyelids as well. That's right. Thank you, Marie. Um, Kelly's, hey Kelly, I didn't know you were in here. Just wanted to say sunflower oil has changed my godsend's life. Yes, uh, if you guys want a great oil that is for sensitive skin, please check out my video all about sun, uh, sunflower oil. It's really going to be great for you. Um, just so you guys know, I have playlists in my channel that are all broken down. So if you have any questions, all you have to do is put in the search bar like um, sunflower oil and then put my name after it like Elleary Artistry and it'll pop up. And that's a great way to find questions, uh, answers to your questions. All right. Thank you. Yeah, Lori, how'd your surgery go? Um, she was telling me she has had surgery for her eyelids. Um, MV, check the link in the description box of this video of where you can get cacao oil. I have a 40% discount code that is non-affiliate. Um, Jan, Jen says, L, I have to tell you, I have been following some of your recommendations and my dry skin is definitely more hydrated and glowing. Even checked moisture levels at Sephora. That's awesome, Jen. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Thanks, Troy. Um, Janet asks, can you use other serums at the same time as the alginous collagen? Absolutely. I use about three other serums with that product. So it's not an it's not an acid. There's no actives in it. So you absolutely can. All right. Love you too, Kelly. Um, Lori says, not an eye lift, but a muscle, but my muscles weren't lifting eyelids. Oh, interesting. Um, Sue says, what's a good tightening serum? Um, take a quick look at when was, if somebody maybe can help me, what was my video all about? Oh, peptides. Take a look at my last live. It's all about peptides. No. What was I talking about? Um, yes, peptides because mexatrixol and all of those. So if you're looking for good tightening serums, that's, uh, one to watch. Yay. I just ordered the cacao oil on Amazon and it comes to 2334. Awesome. Gabby. Perfect. D says, okay, you're welcome, MV. Uh, Claudia says, my family has noticed big changes in my skin. Thanks for all your recommendations. You got it, Claudia. 
Deb says, who else got a sample of La Mer lotion? I wanted to hate it, but I love it. So Deb, really check the ingredients in the La Mer. I totally understand. So many people love La Mer, but honestly, if I'm being so super honest, those ingredients are crap. Um, they have a ton of fragrance in them, a ton of alcohol, and a lot of craziness going on in there. But check the ingredients on the specific product you're talking about. Um, hey, L. Suzanne says, can I use cacao oil with AHAs? I wouldn't. I would just use it with your retinol products or use it the other nights that you're using, you're not using AHAs. Cole says, just bought some cacao oil. Awesome. Misty. Oh, wow, Lori. Mine. Okay, perfect. Uh, make sure I'm getting all the questions before we jump off here. Um, okay, so Gracie asks, hey, L. when is the self-tanning video coming? I need to tan. On Tuesday. So that will be up on Tuesday, Gracie. You got it. Okay. Does the Amazon code work for UK? Does anyone know? As far as I know, Sharon, absolutely. It works worldwide. Uh, Vidya asks, is it necessary to wash your face with soap in the morning? No, it's not necessary. As long as you've done a good cleanse at night, grab a great clean micellar water and that'll be your cleanse. Okay. Marie says, what about inner internal? Are you ask? Okay. Marie's asking, answering questions. Um, Let's see here. Yes, Denise says that she thinks cacao oil plumps her lips. That's actually something I don't talk about. I actually use cacao oil right over my lips as well. I totally do. I 100% I agree with Denise for sure. Oh, look at all the look at all of the testimonials for cacao oil. This is so awesome. Does cacao oil take the place of vitamin C and hyaluronic acid? No. Hi, um, vitamin C and hyaluronic acid is used towards d during the day. Caca oil is used at night. What's the best not so pricey cleanser that exfoliates? Um, ooh, uh, message me on Instagram and we can talk. Uh, MV. Okay. Recently discovered. So Wendy says recently discovered your channel and it's been so refreshing to find someone in the same age range. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Welcome to the uh, family and welcome to the L squad. Okay, perfect. I sell makeup and a lot of people purchase cacao oil from your link. Oh, thanks, Nancy. It's not affiliate, so I don't get anything from it, but I really appreciate that, Nancy. It's really helping to enrich people's skincare lives, so that's awesome. Okay, what are your suggestions? So Christina says, what are your suggestions for super dry, mature skin? Um, Christina, take a look at all at my skincare playlists and see if there's a topics that you want to know about. That's a great place to start. Excuse me. <clears throat> More skin sun care, uh, skincare reviews, please. You got it. Um, okay, what else? Difference between hair and face, caca. No, um, just uh, it's just the bottle size. It's nothing really that different, to be honest with you. And delivery system. Uh, Claudia says, do you use caca oil as your last step? I actually, so if you guys have been watching me long enough, I use caca oil before moisturizer, but you can use it interchangeably. My philosophy is that moisturizer goes on over oils to lock it in. Baking soda exfoliates really good. That's actually a really great suggestion, Nancy. You're right. Um, you can use cacao oil with Retin-A. I do it twice a week. Uh, Lori asks, and I do it twice a week. Yes. The oil clean. What oil cleanser would you recommend? Stacy, my favorite one is from Maylove. Um, they have one of the best oil cleansers ever. Um, if you're looking for one, you can get into the store. The Pharmacies Dream Clean or Green Clean is fantastic. Okay, first live stream. Welcome, Lori. Okay, so Claudia says, okay, I use Ren Firming Shot with cacao oil. Sure, that's fine. Totally. I use, uh, Heidi asks, I use uh, prescription strength Retin-A. Do I still need cacao oil? You do not need anything, to be honest with you, but I find that it really gives the skin the hydration that Retin-A takes away from it. So I love the combination. Okay. Any last questions before we jump off? Nancy, are peptides and AHAs important? Um, in my opinion, Nancy, absolutely. Again, just put in the description or in the search bar peptides, El Leary artistry, and then you can put in this, the bar, uh, you know, AHAs or, you know, exfoliation El Leary artistry, and it'll pull up all my videos on that or look in the, the uh, playlist. Um, so, yeah, again, if you guys are ever looking for any topic and you can't get a hold of me, Please search my playlists. They are abundant and have so much resources. Okay. 
best silk pillowcase. Honestly, um, I Tatcha sent me one, so I use that one. But just buy one off of Amazon. Uh, pill silk pillowcases help, they say, help with non-wrinkling the face. So just FYI. Okay. Um, do Samantha asks, do you like Clinique's take the day off balm? It's fine. Yeah, absolutely. You can absolutely use that for sure. Uh, what is, so Lisa asks, what is better, Retin-A or Retinol? The Retin-A is going to be stronger. Retinol is a over-the-counter version of Retin-A. It's much more gentle. All right. Okay. Anything else we can talk about today? Retin-A, then caca. Yes, Lara. Retin-A, let it sit for about 10 minutes and then caca oil on top. Uh, Kathleen says, really don't mind if you make some money from our, your recommendations. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. I appreciate it. I just try to be really transparent. Um, I don't do a ton of affiliate links except for magic links. Um, but I appreciate you, Kathleen. Uh, all right. Yes, Lori, I totally agree. She says Retin-A is better if your skin can tolerate it. Absolutely. It's just stronger, more effective. I just, uh, okay, what else? Do you have a link to the pillowcase? Honestly, Nancy, just Google it on uh, Amazon and there is totally, there's a an abundance of them. Something to take age spots, please. Um, uh, Claudette, just take a look at my playlist. It's going to be all about exfoliation, vitamin C, retin-A, or retinol products for uh, spots on the face. Steph says, my poor dad is sitting here waiting to take me to uh, for my walk. Oh, sorry, Steph. We'll be done here in about five minutes. Um, all right. Lori asks, have you ever used Murad products? I got some as a gift. AHA exfoliant options. Yes. Um, take again, you guys take a look at my blog, elleary.com. Um, I put it in the chat box here if, and I have a blog there and I have some amazing Murad products. I actually used to use Murad in my skin studio. I love Murad products. I think they're awesome. So I've been a long time Murad user and I actually use their retinol products to this day. Okay. All right. Can you update your nighttime routine soon? Yes, Janet, you got it. I'm trying some new products right now, but you got it. Okay. So Sharon says, no UK shipping, Elf. Oh, bummer. I'm sorry, Sharon. Hmm. All right. Ordering the caca oil. Okay, perfect. Um, I get, Gracie, uh, just take a look at my blog whenever you get a chance. I have done a best of series with all of my favorite serums and moisturizers and exfoliation and eye creams on my blog, and I have the best vitamin C products there. Um, D, her blog is organized and so much information. Thanks, D. I love it. All right. I want to take this opportunity to thank you for your quality content. Thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, Raffaella asks, do you like the Caudalie brand? And again, if you guys have been watching me long enough, I mean, probably going on over a year, that is the thing that started me on my journey. It gave me so much texture on my skin. So for me, that brand did not work, but for others, they really like it. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Nancy's asking best vitamin C. Again, um, Nancy, just check out that blog whenever you get a chance. I also have a hyaluronic acid post as well. Okay. Any last questions before we jump off? Uh, Sharon asks, does anyone else find retinol greasy and sits on the skin? I'm not sure which retinol you're referring to, Sharon. Um, I have never experienced a greasy after effect from a retinol product. Um, Jen says, summer foundation suggestion video soon. You got it. I will do that. That's a great suggestion, Jen. Um, thank you so much. All right. Anything else? Oh, thanks, Kelly, for telling Steph. She, that's awesome. I love this community. You guys like blow me away by your supportiveness for each other and just how kind you guys are in the comments. I just am, I feel so thankful for this community. You guys are so awesome. Like, honestly. Is caca oil what takes away the age spots? I found retinol. Yeah, it does help for sure, Claudette. Okay, Grace says, uh, pillowcase on sale now. Okay, perfect. Um, so Kathy asks, have you heard or used uh, the Truth Treatment? And I'm not quite sure which one you're talking about. If you're talking about the Truth Serum by Oli Hendrickson, I have, and I wasn't a huge fan. 
Um, do you like or have tried the Chanel foundations? Yes, but I haven't given them enough try, to be honest with you, but I am going to be trying them soon. Okay. Big thanks, L. Just received your hourglass ambient. Oh, good. I'm so glad you got that. All right, you guys. So the ordinary retinol in squalene feels oily. Oh, I see. It's, that's what Steph says. It's because it's in an oil. So that might not be the best effect for you. So, yeah. All right. I am Shell. Elle's the best. You're so sweet, you guys. I love you guys. Um, okay. So, oh, uh, uh, last question. Linda asks, what's your opinion on the vitamin C serum by Kills? I've heard great things about it. I have never tried it, but I have heard nothing but good things about it. Okay. Uh, Beth, thanks. Many thanks to you, Elle, by the way. Got the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundation and is perfect for my skin. Yay, Beth. Okay. Um, all right. So thank you guys again so much for sticking with me for some technical difficulties. Again, takeaway moment is I'm going to be doing this from my bedroom from now on because my router is literally sitting right here. Um, but again, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Um, and I will see you guys later this week and I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. I love you guys. Bye.